Kerpix looks at the pitch band and her first pitch at 32 after the hour is in there for a strike. 1-1, one, one. this one out of the reach of Mosley at third, turning at first, heading to second, and she'll move in easily to second base with a stand-up double. 3-0 comes inside, close to grazing her there, but she'll walk. Two on, two out. High and the bases are loaded. 1-2 one, once again. Got her swinging for a called strike three. Is like understanding how good this Georgia squad could be. Here's the one, two. It's going to be sent to foul territory. And that'll be the first out of the inning. 85 here on the season. This one sent back up the middle for Georgia's first hit of the evening. Before I got here, of people. So um, definitely. There's a ground ball to second for one off the glove, not in time there. So the lead runner is taking off the bases there with some good fielding at second by Moore. So this game originally was a 5 o'clock Eastern mm -hmm. first pitch, pushed it back an hour due to the storms coming through and the timing, but then the amount of rain, they wanted an extra half hour to get that rain out of here and also probably do a little field prep, throw to third, and she is out. A couple of walks and left them jammed as the underhand scoop second in a three-game set. Yeah, strike him out, throw him out there at first, two away. Two outs, the base is empty. Here's a ground ball to short. One, two, three, second inning here for Madison Kerpix. We head to the bottom half. Such a natural transition, I think, to Tony. Familiar. Everybody's always enjoyed him as Kuma swings and misses there for the strikeout. Getting pitches to hit. Probably going to be one of the bigger challenges for her. She swings and misses on the rise ball. Quarterback, the Chicago Bears, the one-two, swung on and missed. A little dribbler over to first, underhand, and quick cover to the bag there. Kuma, she had to really hustle. Really? Three-two. That one will miss. Of my house. <laughs> 3-2, swung on and missed, throw down to second. Ball's going to get away. And Clark will hold there, so a strikeout for Cagle. A 3-1 walk. Three, two, and pull the three, one. Swing and a miss for strike three. This one is sent to left. This one will find the wall, getting waved around and coming home to score is Gordon. Throw at the plate. Believe called out. Home plate umpire was over at third, having to watch from the angle. Yeah, there was no umpire. At that is home tough. For, I don't think I've ever seen that before. I think it's a matter of if she actually touched her. Yeah. If she did, I think she was definitely out. I don't know. Oh, if she. she I doesn't look like she touched her I don't from that know angle. She did. It looks like she came in right behind her. Hey, runner safe. Down out there on the outfield wall. Appeal to third base. Don Brown says she went. That's the, the saying. The green light is on. Yeah. In the dirt, getting away, throw to third. Laser throw to make it after that. And it's off that line. Bubble. Yeah. Three, two, swung on and missed. Not in the first. This one back up the middle, and this one will be a base hit. This one getting away to the backstop. So Garcia advances. Off to a bit of a slower start here this season. 3-1. That one misses for a ball. And 
and FCA All-America Scholar Athlete as well. Popped up. There's an out for Georgia. That's a big one. No time to get the mask off or anything. No. You've got to be tracking. It wasn't that high, so yeah, definitely not a lot of time there. What a catch! Well hit to left on the run and making the catch. Chamley keeping that thing at the end of her glove. We had to. Kearney Kuma Mosley, we mentioned. Lifted to right center. And just shy of the warning track, Clark will track it down to the, to the arms and the defense for, for holding both the offenses at bay. Lifted to right. Little bobble there, but ends up being a 20 to 10 win for Georgia. Crazy. This one's golfed out the 2-1. Good defense as Armistead comes up with it. 1-0, that one just out of the reach of Armistead and a good piece of hitting there by Maddie Moore. Two, two, throw down to second. Tag applied. Come do. Three, two. Ooh. Feeling this is a fairly pivotal moment in the game. Three, one. That one just misses. And now the bases are loaded for Clemson. Swung on, and that'll do it. Why not? Position there to end the, set, the fourth. So swing and a miss, there's strike three. And, and you see a very kind of up call, but then Clemson runs the bases here, which I think confused a little bit. 2-2 to two, two the field, this one's well hit. This one will go to left. A, bat, a, a runner into scoring position. Swung on and missed for strike three. Gordon's retired on strikes. The 2 1. Good night on the infield. Charging in is more in that game. A run on three hits for Georgia. Nothing on three hits for Clemson. And there's a quick out to get the, the inning started. You might be saying a word that you don't want. Someone to, to know that you're saying. Tough play over to first and not in time. Clemson. And now you go to back to the top of the order. You want to be careful here for Georgia. Bunted down the line and an easy tag out. And some one pitcher to carry. If you can have everybody contribute, that certainly goes a long way. This one out into outfield, throw home, going to be cut off, and Clemson's tied the game. Two out and a 2-2 two -two count. Mackenzie Clark to the outfield. Able to punch it just over uh, Sydney Kuma's head right there and provide enough time for that runner. Rounds out, trying to advance her. And then Clark's RBI single ties the game at one. That's one, two. Swung on and missed for strike three, but Clemson has tied the game. Three, one goes high. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty ideal spot in terms of speed for that changeup. She'll drop this one into play, throw to first, Chambly is retired on the sacrifice, but that will move Digby into scoring position. Off the end of the bat, fielded cleanly there by Hiller at first, and that'll do it for the Georgia threat. Lily Backus is definitely looking to come in with a strike right here. And she'll lose her on the 3-0. Lead off. Popped up. Stay in the infield, Kuma. Tough 
play at second. They're going to go back to second to get the lead runner there and a fortunate break for Georgia. Swung on and missed, throw down to second. Popped up on the infield. Kuma makes the play. We head to the bottom of the seventh, tied at one. Here's a ground ball, this one to second. Davis has climbed down to the dugout. This one well hit by Fields. This one's going to find grass in left center. It finds the wall. And Jaden Fields finds herself at second base with a stand-up double with one away. Again, McCubbin was scheduled to start in moments before first pitch. Cagle was inserted in the lineup, swinging a miss for strike three. Two away. Back to the pitcher. Quick reflexes. We'll go extras here in Athens. Two, two, rung her up on a called strike three. Just getting her more comfortable doing that and it paid off. Hit and run, look there, charging it from short over to first, not in time. Armistead gave it a good hustle, but a good piece of hit in there as Oda hit and Ball rolling just slow enough to give her speed the, the time to get there. This one's well hit to left, but right to Chambly. 286 hitter on the season is Clark with runners aboard. To the edge of the infield, Kuma with the catch. We head to the bottom of the eighth. Counts 100 plus pitches now. Is this well hit? Good night. Going to find her way aboard. We talked about that speed if she can get back, but maybe hey, I'll give it a throw. And see where it goes as this one gets away. Good night will go to second. Took a big turn there at second. 2-2. Two, two. This one's lifted to left center. And a huge collision out in the outfield. Good night tags and goes to third. She's now. Yeah, really impressive that Clark was able to hold on to the ball right there. Despite getting knocked to the ground and still contend for a play. Yeah, it's Kearney. Well hit to right field and that'll do it. Georgia walks it off here in the eighth. An RBI single off the bat of Jada Kearney since Dallas, good night home. And sweet dreams for Georgia. And that's the ball game, Dr. Tanger, the score. Super clutch hit by Jada Kearney. Able to send that opposite field to get her teammate Dallas Goodnight in for the win. Another look there. Clemson bringing that outfield in, needing to try to make a play if you can, but with the speed of Dallas Goodnight, anything put into the outfield was going to be tough to do, and Georgia will walk it off here in Athens, 2-1 to one over the Tigers as Georgia moves to.